Hey guys, Jen here. Okay, so I have a ton of books that I never reviewed um, from like a long time ago. And I really liked some of them, but I don't remember them enough to do a review on them completely. So I'm just going to give you a list of books that I've read and tell you my general feelings on them. And just kind of recommend books to you. So, ooh, sorry if you guys heard that loud noise, but yeah. Anyway, um... So yeah, let's do this. Um, the first one that I want to recommend, sort of, is of Poseidon. Um, it's a series by Anna Banks. There's only two books in the series and the whole thing is out, so you can just read it. Um, it's about mermaids and this one was okay. It wasn't really... It was a good read and like it saved me a lot of boredom and I enjoyed reading it. But not exactly raving about it. It was... It was okay. It was it was distracting, and it was what you would want from a book. But I don't know. It was okay if you guys want to, you know. Mermaids are cool because that's not really something that's in the whole, you know, book market right now. It's usually werewolves or vampires or, like, freaking fairies. But, yeah, this one is kind of different in that respect. So you guys can try that one out. Um, okay. Forgive me because I literally don't remember anything about these, this book, but I remember that it was good. Um, it's called The Embrace Series by Jessica Shivington. And I think it's sort of... Okay, I'm really sorry. I read a lot of books. I think it's sort of about... If you guys have read like City of Bones, it's sort of like that where they're like half angel and they have to battle um like supernatural evil spirits or like bad angels yeah that's what it's about <laughs> sorry it's an angel book um three books are out in it i totally oh my god no they're all out right i don't think there's a fourth one coming out or maybe there is. Oh my god. I don't know. But read the Embrace series. I will try to pull up a picture of it for you. Um, here we go. Sorry. I hate the note because you can't get to things like quickly. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. That's the book cover for Embrace, the first one. So, yeah. There is that series. Um, and, <clears throat> and then, um, this book was really good. I liked this book a lot. Um, ugh. this, this is the most spastic review I think I've ever done. And that's saying something that is saying something. Okay. Well, the book cover is not showing up, but it's called Gravity by Melissa West. And um, this one was really cool. It's about um, a world where aliens have come and, like, um, they, like, make, made, ugh. there's There's a threat and tensions between aliens and humans. And a long time ago, they made an agreement that they could coexist in peace. Um, but now tensions are becoming high and the threat of war is looming. And this girl and this alien boy end up teaming up together to stop the war. And that's the first book. The second one's coming out, God knows when. But I think it's going to be called Hover. But yeah, this one was good. See, I read this before I read that whole Embrace series. And I remember this one more. So this one was a lot better. So go read this. Um, the other book that I wanted to talk about was... The Lunar Chronicles, um, I think, I've seen this in bookstores a lot, and I just never w felt like reading it, because it sounded weird to me. Um, the first one, I'm sure you've heard of it, um, it's called, ugh, why can't I get the cover up, god dang, it's called Cinder by, Mel by Melissa Meyer, and if you guys know what I'm talking about, it's that whole, like, um, it's that cover with the robotic leg and that red heel. And it's supposed to be about Cinderella, but the girl's a robot. Yeah, you think it would be weird, but it was really, really good. And the romance was nice. And 
the world was really interesting and like how it was like the fairy tale but she twined it in with something sci-fi it was really cool and I really liked reading the second one um what was it Scarlet um I really liked reading that one even though it was about a completely different character uh the way it's gonna work the series is gonna work out she's pretty much doing like a book for each like fairy tale character like this one was Cinder it's about Cinderella's story the second one was about Scarlet I think the third one it's kind of rumored but I think it's going to be about Rapunzel but she's um it's all under one world and she's slowly weaving all these stories together to one thing and it's this it's another alien human war situation going on and it's really really cool and you think it'd be weird but it's really not and it works so yeah I don't think I have oh um I read this book like way, 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 way back when, like probably half a year ago. Um, but I remember it being good. So I'm just going to show you the title. It's called Origin by Jessica Kuhari. I, I don't know how to say that. I'll put it in the description box. But it's a story about a girl who like can't die and she's immortal. Um, it's pretty much... I think it's just a standalone book. I think it's just a standalone book. Um, it's similar to Beta. Did I do a review on Beta? I think I did. Oh my god, I, I'm a horrible person. Oh, here's another good one. Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. This one was good. It was like a whole like X-Men kind of thing. Humans with supernatural powers living in one city. Mystic City was really good. I don't really remember anything beyond that. But, yeah. And if I didn't do a book review on beta, I'm going to do it now because it deserves one. Um, beta was really good. It's kind of like if you guys have seen trailers to the movie Elysium coming out, it's sort of like that. It's this planet. It's this place where all the wealthy are. And it's a perfect place. There's no disease, no war, no nothing. It's for the rich and wealthy. And this girl is... um. This is the book cover. And the girl is a robot created to be staff on this island. And she is perfect. Like, genetically, physically beautiful, perfect. And she used to be a human girl. But there's a process where they the body dies and then they insert this robotic thing into it. And this girl is born. And she ends up having feelings and becoming part of this really wealthy family's home and it's really 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 cool um I can't give it justice the way I want to but please go read it because I loved beta and I think the second one is coming out soon I have to keep my eye out but yeah um and that is pretty much it I hope you guys go read them um, because they're great books, and I feel bad that I can't do a full, you know, review for them the way I would want to, but I just can't remember them that well. But they're all really good books, and I enjoyed them, so I hope you guys do too, and I'll see you next time. Bye!